the main research project in my lab is looking at what happens during breastfeeding and pregnancy um, for women, and in particular for mice, in the, the work that we do in the lab. Why we're interested in this is that the mother's skeleton is borrowed from during pregnancy and lactation to provide calcium and other minerals to the fetus and to the neonate. And then, quite strikingly, the biggest puzzle about it is that it's fully restored afterwards. Um, it's a puzzle because normally as adults, if we lose bone, if we lose calcium from our skeletons for any reason, we're pretty well stuck there or we might have very slow partial recovery. But if a woman breastfeeds, she can lose 5-10% of her skeleton in about 6 months and restore it completely in another 6-12 to 12 months. And if you're a mouse that's lactating, over 3 weeks you can lose about half your skeleton and completely restore it in about 14 days. So we're trying to understand both how the borrowing occurs, but more importantly how that restoration happens, because that restoration is more powerful and rapid and complete than anything we're able to accomplish right now in treatments for osteoporosis or other bone problems. The main obstacle in this work is that we're searching for an unknown. Uh, that's always the hardest one. We, we know there's something there. Um, much of the work that we've done to date has been involved in um, looking at the known hormones and factors that regulate the skeleton and finding that none of them are required for the restoration of the skeleton after breastfeeding or lactation. So we know it's something else. And that finding of an unknown, it's a wide territory, a big puzzle. and. We've been taking a couple of different approaches by trying to look to see what genes are changing their regulation in the skeleton during the recovery interval and what proteins are in the circulation during that recovery interval. On our first pass, we found probably about 600 different genes in the skeleton that are changed during the recovery interval. And that's a lot to try to then test to determine which one might be uh, most important or key. And in the circulation, it's fewer. There's about 100 proteins, but still, that's 100 candidates to be examining to then test and see do any of them stimulate bone to develop itself.